there was such huge demand for the first round of the PPP program that, you know, the, the money lasted 14 days. I assume you're going to have the same rush uh, for, for the additional funding that it will go away very quickly. So unfortunately, I do believe there will be some businesses that are left without any help at all. Well, hopefully it will uh, be a Band-Aid, but I don't think it's a fix. We've got to get the economy back going. We've got to get the people traveling. We've got to people, get people using oil and gas again. Uh, if we don't have that fairly quickly, it's, uh, it's already get, it, it is already bad. Uh, it's just not going to get any better until people start traveling and start consumption again. The extent of the wound, I think, uh, remains yet to be seen. Um, I believe uh, as we, you know, as we make moves to reopen businesses uh, in a strategic and uh, methodological way, I think we will definitely start to uh, see a, a bounce back. It's a kind of a multi-phase plan, not only with President Trump's plan, but then Governor Abbott's plan and, and how those all mix together. Dr. Ray Perryman has been commissioned to develop a plan for us as far as the oil and gas and the energy sector is concerned, but also with the coronavirus, we're supposed to have that this week. Uh, we don't yet. Of course, every time we think it looks good enough to, to nail something down, something changes. We've done a few sessions on offering uh, some some brainstorming and idea swapping for businesses to be able to uh, think outside the box and figure out how they might be able to adapt their business model.